Team 3 Weather Lab. Here's Daniel's True View forecast. Welcome back, everyone. As we start getting into the midweek, a quiet forecast across Acadiana. Surprise, surprise. Plenty of sunshine coming up here over the next 24 hours or so. We had another quiet day today. And a few showers popping up. Those have long come to an end now. Not much going on. In fact, if you want to see some showers, you do have to go out over towards Florida. Maybe they've had a few today. You've still got some over in Oklahoma, but everything in between has stayed very, very dry. Not too much going on out there really at all. This evening, it's going to be very warm. It's going to be very sticky. It is going to be very similar to what it's been like night in and night out here so far this week, even getting back into the weekend. Wasn't a whole lot of clouds. That was a little bit hazy outside. That dust is sticking around and we're going to still see some of that tomorrow. I think it eases up a little bit compared to what we saw today. I don't think the haze is quite as thick tomorrow as what we had earlier on, but it still will be a hanging around. It is thinning out as we move forward uh, through the rest of the week, though. Skies otherwise stay clear. A few clouds will be about it. Nothing that will help out with the temperatures at all. Look for the heat index once again back up into the triple digits likely pushing up right around that 102 105 range. That's exactly where we were today. So we'll just repeat that forecast over again into tomorrow as well. There's really not much of a pattern change at all. A little warmer down along the interstate once you start getting into some of the cities, probably peaking up around 105. These numbers have been coming in a little bit on the cooler end. They tend to run a, a couple degrees cooler than what we usually see. So again, I take these numbers, bump them up just a little bit as you go through the day tomorrow. It already starts off to a very warm start. We'll be sitting in the 80s early tomorrow. Heat index right around 10 o'clock was at about 90 in Lafayette. So a thick atmosphere that we're going to have to trudge through once again. And same can be said down along the coast. Cannot even find find any kind of comfort through there still in the triple digits early in the morning and then lasting all the way through the day hot humid conditions overnight once the sun goes down again a very thick atmosphere dew points have stayed up there quite a bit and are expected to do so again tomorrow and when you don't have any kind of showers helping out with that at all it can lead to a bit of a sticky day. So let's get into tomorrow. Not a whole lot going on. Again, we are still under the influence of high pressure. Winds coming in from the south. Not much of a breeze, just enough to bring maybe a little moisture into place. We'll go 10, 20 percent at best on your rain chances. That'll be a generous 20 percent at that. Running through into Thursday afternoon, maybe a little bit better rain chances. That it's still going to be those sea breeze showers. Really nothing to be all that concerned with at all. And by the time we get into Friday, that will be the time period. Or maybe we do see a few more showers Friday afternoon. We'll go 30, 40 percent on the rain chances for Friday and getting into the early parts of the weekend. Temperature wise mid 70s in Lafayette for early tomorrow. I think we're right around the 76 degree range for our low. Heat index will already be well into the 80s back up into the triple digits for tomorrow. We'll see the temperatures get up to that 94 degree range again. That's basically exactly where we were today. We do it all over again on Thursday with no real change at all. Temperatures will look almost identical through the rest of this work week, maybe down into the lower 90s as we get closer to the weekend. But still, it's really not going to feel like much of a difference at all. It's 76 for your overnight low tonight. A swampy night coming up across the region. Mostly clear skies otherwise. Not too much to worry about. It's 94 for your high tomorrow. And down to the southwest at 5 to 10 miles an hour. Again, a little hazy still, but not quite as bad as what we had today. And yesterday, 40% chance of rain Friday getting into Saturday. Maybe a front midweek next week, which could help a little bit. All right. Thank you, Dan.